looks like it's raining today. Probably won't be able to fly. Although I guess in terms of flying, we've got drone and stuff. I guess I was reading this today. Where apparently Parrot announced an actual price for their Anafi AI drone. This one here says, Parrot Anafi AI. The first 4G connected robotic UAV is ready for work. Parrot, the leading European drone company, is pleased to announce the forthcoming availability of its Anafi AI. Parrot's new drone will begin shipping this January from $4,000 excluding tax through its leading resellers. So the drone is meant more for professional use, I guess you could say. $4,000 is pretty hefty. Then again, for a lot of people who require these types of drones and depending on the applications, such as flying beyond visual line of sight, things like that 4G option would probably be very useful. But the price still, even for things like the batteries and stuff, I mean, look at this. It's like what, $399 for a battery? Or the propellers, those I could imagine needing to be replaced frequently. And it's $79 for propellers? Man, you thought basically it's expensive to buy even things like what, the Mavic 3 and all that? They're just getting crazy expensive. It's not as expensive as the Air Peak drone, the one by Sony, but still it's right up there in terms of cost, huh? Were you someone planning to get this drone? What do you think now with the price? Is it still within the ballpark of what you expected to pay for something like this? I know just in terms of drones and stuff, I still wonder when will it be a standard in terms of being able to fly the drone in the rain and all that? And this was an unfortunate news I read today. Apparently the creator of the Nintendo Entertainment System or the Famicom, which is what it's called in Japan, passed away recently. It says here, Masayuki Uemura, creator of the NES and SNES game consoles, dies at 78. Masayuki Uemura, the lead architect for the breakthrough Nintendo Entertainment System and the Super NES, and a visiting professor at Rizumeken University, has died, the university said Thursday. He was 78. After joining Nintendo Co. in 1971, Uemura was in charge of developing the NES and its successor, the SNES, the consoles known in Japan as Famicom, an abbreviation of Family Computer, and Super Famicom, became huge hits with combined sales of 100 million units worldwide. I didn't even know this before. It says here, Uemura started teaching at the Kyoto University in 2004. About things like game studies and all that? That must be really cool to have instructor who helped to invent a product that had mass influence with pop culture and all that to be able to learn from people like that. Video games were definitely a big part of my life just in terms of hobbies and all that and I always find it funny where stereotypically people would look at kids and they would say oh look at that one they're reading a book that must be a bright kid whereas they see the one playing a video game like oh what a waste of time it kills brain cells etc etc well, I'm thinking have you ever played games like role-playing games? That's what I played anyways, frequently. And there's so much reading there. It's basically like an interactive movie in many ways. All the text, all the characters that you have to try to understand. I even learned things like finance and stuff like that. I learned how not to spend recklessly because if you spend all, like you say, your gold or whatever in one place, then all of a sudden you see the other place is cheaper. It's like, oh man, and you kind of apply those skills in real life as well. That's how I learned to handle things like the drone too, because like I said, it's so similar in terms of the remote controls. I can only imagine too, where if you're someone like this who helped to create a product that has this type of an impact in the world, then you could pass away, I guess, happy per se, knowing that you've left this type of legacy behind and now it's for the next generation. I guess that's how I would think of it anyways if I was in that position.
All right, looks like there's no flying today. I guess it's time for the archive. Alright, see you guys later.